with Geetha. Today we are going to see the topic analysis of variance that is ANOVA. This is a very important technique we are going to use. Uh, here what do you mean by analysis of variance? It is a technique used to test equality of means when more than two populations are considered. If we have two population in the same and the difference, significant difference between means, significant difference between standard deviations, significant difference between variances, and the madri, number test no, we used to in normal test, T test, F test, in normal test and T test, we considered only the equality of two population means. Rende populations are composed and the significant difference between means and test and the significant difference between standard deviations and using chi square test we had uh, equality of population variances and the F test for equality of population variances for two uh, populations. If, uh, if there are more than two populations, some of the populations in the for testing the equality of means, the analysis of variance method is applied. More than two population we use the technique of ANOVA, that is analysis of variance. This was introduced first by R.A. Fisher. It was originally used in agricultural experiments in which different types of fertilizers were applied to plots of land. Adavadi the moda moda introduced Padade, Professor R.A. Fisher the father of statistics and it was originally used in agricultural experiments in which different types of fertilizers were applied to plots of land different types of feeding methods to animals and so on in the madri nareya different methods from the plots of land other different fertilizers or plots of land were used for people are they different types of feeding methods to animals animals where are feeding methods so in the mari edangalilla and the agricultural experiments like in the ANOVA technique use pannan. This technique is widely used in different fields. For example, to study the pattern of average sales by using different sales techniques. That is why we have to do this. We have to do this. We have to do this. To study the pattern of average sales by using different sales techniques. Where are we? With the same way, we can find the average sales. How do we find the average sales? How do we find the significant difference? The types of drugs manufactured by different companies to cure a particular disease. One of the things that we can find is the same way. The same way, 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 the same way. Drugs, marindu kalau seperti, nama ayu sejarah itu. Inda mari ada kalau yang lama, mungkin nama inda ANOVA teknik, ANOVA metode nama ayu sepan. Teknik of variances by doing, atau by different companies to cure a particular disease. Orang kuri petar dia ada yang guna perit terkaga. Different drugs itu ada efeknya nama test pernah tu pain betul. ANOVA is literally a teknik that analyzes variances. By doing so, it provides us with a test. For the significance of the difference among means, the ANOVA method literally talk about the analysis about variances. Anna, after panning about the this side by side, what is done? The apnea, a test for the significance of the difference among means. Means, what is the significant difference? You side by side, is that the test panned. So, this is ANOVA apnea method. What is analysis of variance? That is, what is the difference among means? 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 Let's see the general principle of ANOVA. The general principle under this technique is if the null hypothesis that three population means mu1, mu2, mu3 are equal is true then both the variation among the sample means that is x1 bar, x2 bar and x3 bar and the variation within these groups use chance errors of the sampling process. The first of these types of variation is referred to as variation between samples. That is variation among the sample means. That is variation between samples. The second type is referred to as variation within samples. Variation within these groups. That is variation within samples. 
So, there are two types of variation. One is the variation between the samples. The second variation is variation within samples. In the random line, ANOVA technique is very important to know. Between sample variation is a variation of the sample means x1 bar, x2 bar and x3 bar around their general mean x bar. In the between sample variation, sample values are means, sample means x1 bar, x2 bar, x3 bar. That is the general mean x bar and the variation. Within sample variation is a variation of the individual observation within each sample from their respective means x1 bar, x2 bar and x3 bar. So within sample variation is a variation of the individual observations in the sample and their sample means respective sample means cadeirula variation. So a comparison between sample variation and within sample variation yields information concerning difference among the sample means in the rent variation you compare pannu vuluttha namakku vandhe enna kadekkudhe information concerning difference of sample means in the rent in the rent you nama vidhyasitha compare pannu vuluttha namakku information regarding difference among the sample means kadekkudhe so idha use pannna nama enna pannro in the general principle and which is the ANOVA technique and we apply in the experiments. Now we will talk about the assumptions of ANOVA. We use ANOVA technique to use the NLA basic assumptions which are called for the the samples are independently drawn from the population. We have all samples made, they are drawn independently from the population. And now the populations are normally distributed. We have all populations made, we have all the populations made, normally distributed. That's why we have an assumption. That's why we have all the variances of all the populations are equal. We have all the populations made, variances are equal. That's why we have all the assumptions. These three basic assumptions are very very important in ANOVA technique. Types of ANOVA. Now, we will see how many types of ANOVA are going to be done. There are two types of ANOVA. One is one-way classification, another one is two-way classification. For one-way classification, what do you mean? In one-way classification, observations are classified according to one factor. One factor is going to be classified by observations. This on the factor when we are going to exhibit the problem, this is exhibited in column wise. Column wise we are going to exhibit the problem. One factor we are going to exhibit. In two way classification, observations are classified according to two factors. Two factors we are going to exhibit the observations. One is column wise, another one is row wise. So column wise is going to classification, row wise is going to exhibit. In the one way, the column wise is going to exhibit the row wise is going to exhibit. So, in the rent type of classification, we will find the ANO value. Now, we will find the one-way classification of the test procedure. That is, the skeleton of the test. See, first test procedure, H0, mu1 equal to mu2 equal to mu3. That is, the population means are equal. H1, mu1 not equal to mu2 not equal to mu3. That is, the population means are not equal. Alpha may be 1% or 1%. To find F ratio, the following steps are followed. If you have F ratio, if you have calculated value, we will follow the R steps. First step is step 1. Find N, the total number of observations. Total number of observations is N, capital N. Step 2 is find T, the total of all observations. All observations are the total value. That is denoted by capital T. Step 3, find capital T square by N, the correction factor. The T square by N, capital N, that is called correction factor. Step 4, calculate the total sum of squares. The total sum of squares can be given that is denoted by SST, which is equal to summation x1 square plus summation x2 square plus summation x3 square plus etc. Minus, if all summation can be given, minus T square divided by capital N. Step 5, calculate the column sum of squares. 
SSC. It is denoted by column sum of squares is denoted by SSC. Summation x1 the whole square by n1 plus summation x2 the whole square by n1 plus summation x3 the whole square by n1 plus etc. minus t square by n. In the n1 is the number of elements in each column. One or column 3 is the elements in each column that is denoted by n1. Step 6 and then now prepare the ANOVA table prepare the ANOVA table to calculate F ratio. Add the other step 6 prepare a table called ANOVA table to find F calculated value or F ratio and then so on here. Add the ANOVA table prepare for it. Now we have to prepare an ANOVA table to find F ratio and put it on our sister step plan. Now we have to prepare an ANOVA table. That is nothing but analysis of variance table. How many columns are there? There are 5 columns. In the first column, there are sources of variation. In the second column, there are sum of squares. In the third column, there are degrees of freedom. In the fourth column, there are mean sum of squares. In the fifth column, there are variance ratio. First column, we have to compare the variation in the first column. So, between columns, within columns, total. In the fourth column, we have to compare the sum of squares. In the sum of squares, column sum of squares. This is the error sum of squares. This is the total sum of squares. So, SSC, SSE, SST. That is the simple number of the third question. Degrees of freedom, column minus 1, C minus 1. This is N minus C. This is the total of the N minus 1. So, n minus 1 is the same as n minus 1 minus c minus 1 is the n minus c. So, mean sum of squares due to column. That is ssc divided by c minus 1. And then the sum of squares divided by degrees of freedom c minus 1. That is why mean sum of squares due to error is the ssc divided by the degrees of freedom n minus c. So, if we have a ratio of 1 to be kept there. F is equal to in the MSC mean sum of square due to I mean, in columns divided by mean sum of square due to error. If we put it F equal to MSC divided by MSC. Yeah, the money math in a border this or that name or the nine F should be always greater than one. Other than number F test liberty but join S1 square by S2 square. Yen the sum of squares when the Adiga value of the other numerator level, or a child of the denominator level. Upper the F should be greater than one and one. Other Kaka number in the end of the other when I use for not depending upon F greater than one. F less than one number for other. Then F ratio should be calculated in such a way that F greater than one. Other than Pila put. After calculating the F ratio, that is calculated F ratio is compared with the F table values corresponding to alpha percentage for C minus 1 comma N minus C degrees of freedom to draw the inference. In the C minus 1, N minus C in the this formula we are going to use. In the formula we use for it, C minus 1 comma N minus C degrees of freedom to alpha percentage in the F table. If we use this, N minus C comma C minus 1 degrees of freedom for alpha percentage in F tables. So, if we compare it to the calculated value, we reject the table value for H0 to the table value. If we calculate the table value for the table value, there is no evidence to reject H0, we accept H0. So, we draw the inference. So, if we look at the path, first, analysis of variance. Then, we look at the technique that we use in the same situation, we will use it in the same way. In the same way, we will use the basic assumptions of the technique. Then, we will use the types of ANOVA available. That is the meaning of the meaning of the meaning of the meaning. Then, we will use the one-way classification of the test procedure. Skeleton of the test. Then, we will use the various steps to calculate the ratio. So, this is the one-way classification. After that, we have to do the steps to the way we have to do the way we have to do the way we have to do the way. So, in this video, like, share, comment and subscribe.